was just one of those days. Travis's dad, Robert, came up with the name Black Wednesday. Before that, none of us understood the potential of a front flip. We're here in Davidsonville with some breaking news. Details are sketchy right now, but here's what we know. It seems like there's been some kind of mock assassination attempt against famed stunt rider, motocross rider Travis Pastrana's cousin, Special Greg. It happened down near the bridge by Mike's Crab Shack, and police have detained a 34-year-old white male, and they're questioning him right now. It looks like police have just finished questioning that witness. Oh, man, it was crazy. We, no, we didn't actually shoot anybody. It, it just We started out at Travis Pastrana's on a, on a contest. There were four teams, four guys on a team. They had a couple hours to go out and get the, the best footage, and it just got, it got out of hand. Uh, Travis flipping his bike into the foam pit with his little cousin, and it just went from bad to worse. I'm at this party, um, and there's this clown named Tommy. And we did Nitro One. We just got done Nitro One, and he's watching that and talking on the snack. Like, oh, I do all that. I do all that. You guys, are, you guys are all this. And I guess a couple weeks later, when we decided to have a contest. That ended up being the Black Wednesday contest. <laughs> Now we've received word that a street bike rider has been life flighted out of the Pastrana compound and police have impounded his bike because he was wanted for eluding Maryland troopers earlier today. first jump was a boner error and it went about five feet into the foam pit Correct. and somebody you said went, you can go twice as fast you should listen to him you went three times as fast <laughs> I did <laughs> I know you've convinced yourself you Polygraph. did a front flip, but I mean, it hey. wasn't true. Hey, we, have, we, have footage. That... we have footage of you saying, I'm going to try a backflip. Back <laughs> what are you going to do? Do a backflip, baby. <laughs> this is when the backflip was big, and I've never even done a backflip off a, a diving board. Still can't. Can't do a backflip on a trampoline. Still can't. And like, can Charles you do a front to... flip, though? I can. <laughs> Never, I actually will never ever forget your dad's words when he was on the phone and we were down there looking at Tommy. I, I didn't need to hear what the words were on the other end. All I needed to hear was, was uh, Robert, and Robert was like, is he dead? No. But I've seen dead men that, that are better off than him. <laughs> Left leg, ow. What do you need, buddy? It's coming, buddy. See, I jumped yes. in. Jim, we've just received word from the 34-year-old white male from Utah that the Pastrana compound is officially shut down for the day. Jason Jones, Action News. These guys are meatheads. I'm going to try a backflip. Don't kiss my ass, you don't think I'll try to do a front flip. <laughs> Well, after the, the seven knee operations I've had on my left knee and my ankle that I just sprained last weekend, I couldn't wait to get out of the plane, but I uh, felt good once we took off, so not bad. Base jumping only started because everyone was too broke up to do anything else. Hobble up to the edge of the cliff and jump. Any moron can do that.
Jolene, our first awesome. ever base jump had to go off on the back of the yeah. motorcycle. <laughs> and, <laughs> first ever base jump of holding on to Travis off the motorcycle. <laughs> and you all get Canyon. bucks over on the ramp. That, <laughs> Which, that really that was a bad idea. That bike the first time when we came off of that ramp. And as a matter of fact, this bike doesn't even have a foot peg, let alone a brake or a anything else in case we happen to want to stop. So it's going to be a good day. Oh, what it about? stalled before we got to the ramp, and then the second time I thought I was going to bounce off the back of the seat before we even got to the lip. And none of us knew how bad it really was until we zoomed in on the HD and followed the, no, the shot all the way down. Jolene uh, hanging on the bike. Just just hung on. She's like, I wanted to beat you. She was giving thumbs up, so I she know, says. Babe, I wasn't. Was you were, though. Your was like, you're 20 like, foot from I'm the okay. Don't, don't tell me you're okay, pull the shoot. <laughs> that was the first die. time I met you guys, and I knew I was just like my eyes closed watching. I thought I was watching you die. But Roner, <laughs> yeah, were you, you our safety guy? <laughs> hey, <laughs> I will leave. You guys had your program going, the whole thing was dialed. I was what? just kind of watching. Dialed? <laughs> you called dialed? I just wanted to jump a dirt bike into the Grand Canyon. And that's when Travis was on. Yeah, that's when. Yeah, that, he's dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's when we thought for two minutes that Travis possibly was dead. Yeah, you know, you know what? You can say whatever you want. Your thing was way worse than Jolene. That was perfect, dude. You were just like the one. I should have tracked right there. I don't yeah, know what I was thinking. I went for a second one, and I was like, and not to think that I was sitting there. I was like, dude, he's in shorts and a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Did you not like, even have a full canopy? No. Out? You're I so lucky. I hit on like a vertical too. downhill though. I had always thought that when Travis, was passive. When Travis's hill. chute hit opened literally two seconds before he then hit a cliff. With Jack, the two seconds. Okay, one. No, half of one. <laughs> there you go. That's more accurate. And then he's like, you know, it just comes down to when I do a stunt, I just have to push it harder and harder and harder every single time. And you should probably not base jump very yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. And then I quit. I'm never doing God this again. Godfrey, you cut us off after that. We had more bikes to go no, I and cut, I cut you off before that, and he flipped that on me, and I said, one more. And Kenny Bartram's going, you never say one more. You never say one more. You jinxed me. You jinxed me. I'm like, hey. You know what, sir, what happened? You said one more, you jackass. Well, at some point, you gotta call him. Well, yeah, tell him, let's get another one, and then we're done. But right in that split second between death and fine, you get that, that like, 50 mile an hour impact. Yeah, and you have 50 mile impact, mile impact to a uh, prickly pair of cactuses, and you're going, yeah, get me out of here, you little guy. <laughs> he was crying more than I was crying. He was so scared. He was like, go, Are you okay? I'm never face jumping again. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say that. I've never face jumping again. I remember that. If you were for a helicopter pilot, you'd still be up on that cliff. Dude, I got so much cactus up the butt, man. You you guys are on your own for that. Uh, yeah, sorry. Let's just check this no, out. Yeah, that was like, no, yeah. That dude, that's some messed up right there. You know what I'm saying? Just don't mess up.